Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to Prado 150 out of here. Well, I bit the bullet, decided that I would take my Prado in for a tune. So um, I've just arrived at Highfields Mechanical and I'm going to catch up with Craig and uh, he's going to take us through it. Ah, you must be Craig. Hey Mick, how are you oh, mate? Good yeah, to meet you, nice hey? mate. to see you met the dog already. Oh so. yeah, good day. Ah, welcome he's to Highfields Mechanical, mate. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, um, yeah. So we're going to do a bit of tune. Yeah, try and um, excited, mate. <laughs> get a little bit of this Prado and um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'll be excited with the end result. Mate, I've been excited all day, haven't you? <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> want to get here. Oh, I'll tell you what, yeah. No, <laughs> no that's cool. Out on time, it, 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 it's always... Um, Oh, I love shooting, it's always a pleasure to do it and um, yeah, the results are awesome. Yeah, and Pro Rays are special, aren't they? Oh, they're good. <laughs> awesome, they're, mate. They're, they're better right. than the bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't say that. Of course you can say that. Ah, uh, good to go. All, All right. right. Let's get into it. So, Craig, what have you got for me today, mate? Well, we'll get this thing tuned, so... Yeah. Um, as with all turns, we'll start with the basics and just make sure everything's okay and safe to start with. Yep. Um, so what does that involve? So just a few basic checks. So we're going to go through and make sure your handiwork's okay with your servicing <laughs> and that sort of stuff because there's no point servicing. And that EGR cleaner. And the EGR <laughs> and make sure everything's good because there's no point tuning a, a bad engine. You know, yeah, so yeah. otherwise we're just going to end up with problems. Yeah. Um, once we do that, we'll get it on the dyno. Uh, do a couple of baseline runs, make sure everything's right. We'll take some log files and then we can read it and yeah. the tuning process. So. Right. so just a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, to be quite honest, I was probably a little bit, oh, a bit wary because everyone's got an opinion on, on doing a tune. Um, some people say these engines are not as strong uh, a little bit. And um, if you want long term out of it, um, some people go, oh, maybe this other bit of it. Um, but then people say, no, they're safe. You know, I know some people have done on these and they don't have any drums and they're very happy. Yeah, so a, what do you reckon? Well, there's a couple of things all around that, that that make a difference. So, service history to start with is key. Like, yeah. if, we, if we haven't if we haven't got an engine that's, or, or a vehicle that's well well <laughs> looked after, <laughs> <laughs> so if it's, if it's well serviced and well looked after, that's a good start. Yeah. These things um, sort of respond to that really, really well. So, engine-wise, if they've been fresh oil in them, fill them, radiators are kept clean externally, and everything's right. Yeah. Um, we limit a lot of issues as far and it's got a new radio so is that a good thing well, that's a great thing yeah, yeah. so yeah. anytime we can keep heat um engine temperatures down yeah we're yeah long term longevity all that sort of stuff works really well so, um as far as the tune wise very very well, it's very safe yeah if it's in the right hands yeah. so it's one of those things that um yeah you get the wrong person doing the wrong things and you're just going to blow something up um, but yeah, we'll get it happen and see we so go. So what kind of tune are, we, are you out, you know, like after? Well, depending on, that's up to you. Yeah. You know, depending <laughs> what you're chasing. So we can tune, if you want to... I want to pull wheelies, mate. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to drive like an old man or you want to get some, you know, gnarly performance out of it or you're towing all the time, um, chasing fuel or something, whatever. Yeah. We'll sort of customise to what you want. That's probably the beauty of how we tune in, in the... We'll pay close attention to what you're chasing yeah. and what you want to get out of the vehicle and how yeah. you use it, and we'll tune around that. So it's no point um, us just chasing a massive big number um, if you're wanting more torque for towing or holding gears, better stuff like that. Because to, to me, and, and, and to flash diesel and, and how we tune, it's not about chasing a number. We're chasing a, re a result that's going to you know work well for the vehicle and for you and your situation. So can you put it all in, into one? So. Um, I may be towing down the track, but right, not right now. I just try, I tie a low, uh, like a light uh, camper trailer. Yep. Um, I'm keen on the fuel economy improving slightly, but I'm also keen on getting rid of that lag that you know these things. Are. Yep. So for that, we're, we're basically looking for. And a bit of power. Yeah, probably a great. Well, we're going to try and aim for a great all-round sort of touring tune for you, but we want yep. torque. So we want torque to get this thing off the line. Sweet. Reduce that lag, so it holds the gears better when you when you're towing and, and just you know, doing your long distance stuff and yeah. then that's going to translate back to, to fuel economy and, and yeah, making the passing and everything a lot easier. So, um, yeah, I think that's well and truly achievable for this yeah. So, happy so those uh, lines will go up here, right? Eh? Yeah, we'll get a nice, <laughs> a, a, a nice um, smooth curve on it hopefully and yeah, it yeah. Um, all depends on where it starts, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. we'll go from there. But right. um, I'm excited. Well, mate, I've been looking forward to this. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, as I said, I've got the EGR cleaned up and I wanted to Kind of working with that, how to keep it clean. Well, once we start talking EGRs and mechanicals and stuff like that, um, you know, they, they sort of 
they, they dirty manifolds and, and things get sticky so there's a, um, an intake runner in there that can stick up and the veins and the turbo, all those sort of things can yeah. uh, suffer from, from dirty manifolds and EPRs that are quite dirty. So um, we'll, we'll address all that and just make it run sort of cleaner and smoother and yeah, take care of that sort of thing. Happy day. Um, so of course I'll put your details in the, um, yeah. in, in the description. So um, just for people watching, uh, particularly probably the Prados that are interested, um, where are you? Where are we? So we're, uh, we're Highfields Mechanical, so we are in Toowoomba, um, just north of Toowoomba, so we do all the tuning up here. We tune on behalf of, or, or with the Flash Diesel yep. Network, so we're a Flash Diesel dealer, so Flash Diesel is also in Brisbane, um, and we've got other deals around the countryside. So from your point of view, um, if you're travelling and there's an issue, just ring me and we can go, hey, do you want to see this dealer in this spot and get it you know, yeah. sorted out as well. So it's sort of that, um, that sort of back up with it as well. Um, it's not just about us tuning it, grabbing the money and sending it on your way. Like yeah. We want you to be happy yeah. forever. Sort of and, then we tell else. and you tell everybody else, yeah. So, um, and how long have you been in this report? Oh, right? far too long, mate, far too long. So 30 years, I've been I've just over 30 now. Uh, yeah. 30, coming up 32 this year, so um, wow. yeah. So, a bit of history. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably, oh, well, so you know what we're talking about. <laughs> well, I might have forgotten more than I've learned, perhaps, but um, anyway, no, it's, it's, it's been a good industry. I enjoy it. I've been doing it for you know, that long now, so um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great trade. Anyway, so, yeah. Oh, well. Let's make it happen. Yeah, yeah, we're getting the dyno and um, yeah. yeah, I'll get it on there. And yeah. Well, I'll probably give you the keys for that because I'm just driving under the dyno. <laughs> right, thanks, mate. Okay. So, in here, Mick, obviously, we've got our air filter in the air box here. Yep. So, it's um, filtering all the, all the outside air that comes into the, into the engine. Yep. After that air box, we've got this sensor here. So it's what we call the mass airflow sensor. Now it measures the amount of air going into the engine based on your accelerator input. Yep. And then tells the, the computer tells the engine how much fuel it needs. So we clean these regularly every service. And they're quite simple to clean. We've got to treat them with a bit of care though. So unclip it, I've already unscrewed it. Now if we have a look at this one of yours, we can see all that, that film of oh, red yeah. dust on there. So that's not that just... Yours, mate. <laughs> well, that's probably from many trips, mate, to be honest. So that's yeah, just not yeah. from one trip. So yeah. what I'm going to do, and, and there's, a, there's special cleaners you can get for them. So that, that actually there, that filament there is the intake air temperature filament. And then also the air comes up here, out there, and that's, there's another element in there that measures the amount of airflow that goes through it. When they get dirty, the resistances of those elements change and they can't measure properly. So, or they give incorrect readings. So what we'll do, we'll clean that up. Yep. And this is one of the checks we do before we tune. We want to make sure that's right. So yep. I'll just grab some cleaner. And it's... So the problem with meeting Craig today, he's going to pick out all the bits that I've missed. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was doing all right, doing my own servicing, eh? So these are as simple as ours. We, we just, there's various brands of mass airflow sensor cleaner that you can use. This is a CRC one. This is just one that we use. Yep. It's just a case of get it onto the, onto the sensor and you'll see how this thing cleans up. And do don't be shy on how much you use because this one's been. Now I'm going to have to get a little bit aggressive with this because if we see there, that should be a nice clean wire in there. It's actually quite, quite dirty. Yeah. So we'll clean it up a little bit more. So I'll be a bit slack. Yeah. Oh, well, it's you will learn. This is this is a. A bit of a learning curve for you today as well. Yeah, yeah, I reckon. And I'm just, I'm going to actually grab a little brush, a little soft brush, just to give that a bit, of, bit of a better clean, actually. Um, so Craig had a special cleaner there for the. <laughs> so that's mass airflow cleaners. Now you can buy. We use a lot of brake cleaner. We use a lot of throttle body cleaner, but they're a little bit aggressive on on this sensor. So yeah. we just use a dedicated cleaner for it. Now, that I think we can see has probably come up a lot cleaner than what it was. It's still not the cleanest. Well, it is clean now. There's a little bit of corrosion and stuff on that element just from the from the dust that's been in there. It's a dirty old toothbrush. So that's a good reason why you should clean it regularly, huh? Yeah, like at the end of the day, we just pull them out every service. Yep. And once you're doing them every service, they're as simple as pull them out, 
just grab some mass airflow sensor cleaner. Just give them a spray. It's just like just rinsing off any any rubbish that's on there, um, and then they come up. So that's look. That's a lot better than what it was. Yeah. Um, it'll actually give us a um, a read, like a, a, a more accurate reading now. So um, yeah, and the mass airflow sensor cleaner just evaporates away. Yeah. So um, yeah. And even from a tune point of view, Mick, you're going to pick up just by cleaning that. It'll make the drivability of the car change. So yeah, I reckon you can take that for a drive now and you go, hang on a second, that's a little bit different <laughs> to what it was before. Yep, yep, well, okay. And just another tip, if you are pulling one of these out to clean it, make sure the key's off. Um, because oh, okay. yep. if, you, if the ignition is on or you turn the ignition on while it's out, it will log sure. a fault code. Ah, uh, right, yeah. yeah um, okay. So that's that one. Air filter's okay, coolant's okay, engine oil's all right. Um, on the Toyotas, I've got this little boost filter here, so um, our boost sensor is there. It's away from the inlet manifold. A lot of boost sensors go directly into the manifold. These pick up um, from a different vacuum hose through this little filter and then into the sensor. Toyotas are quite renowned for those little boost filters leaking, whether it's on a Hilux, a Prado, a Land Cruiser or whatever. Um, they do leak and yeah, they can change the boost reading. So if you've cleaned the manifold, that will all be okay. And I've also changed that one on that you're touching there. I've yeah, so you've, brand new, you've yeah. replaced that one, so that's yep. great. Often they'll crack through and you'll see them, if they're leaking oil down the outside of them, or they've got a black sort of stain around them, chuck them in there, yeah. only a few bucks. So. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, we'll plug the scan tool in, see if we've got any fault codes, and we'll check your injector values. So I've just um, I've got the um, the computer plugged and scanner plugged into it. So just yep. checking for fault codes again. This is sort of the um, electronic health check, if you like, of the engine before we before we um, spin it up. So checking for fault codes. We'll start it up and see what data we've got. But there's no fault codes in there, so you've got to you know electronically everything's okay. Sweet. Based on that, that, which is a good which is a good <laughs> start. A good start yeah, it, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I will just run it and we'll collect some. Um, injection data and see what your injectors are like and um, make sure we've got nothing out of the ordinary going on there. We actually are just going to read read the file or, or, or the tune file that's in the, in the car now, so the okay. factory file. Yep. And then this is what, um, once we pull this out, um, we'll extrapolate onto the laptop and then we'll, that's when we can start doing all our modifications from a tuning point of view. Um, but without knowing what's in there. So Craig, just for people watching, um, so that you were saying to me before that you, you work out what the car is at the moment. Yep. And then you send it away to the programmer, pretty much, is that right? So, um, so with the programming side, so like I said, we use Flash Diesel. Mark, who owns Flash Diesel, is an absolute guru yep. of tuning. So, um, and when, when you've got someone of his ability that knows how to tune, why try and do it ourselves? So I'll send this off to Mark and he'll write it for me and send it back. Yep. Um, and so essentially I'm getting a program for my car. Uh, yes, so we'll yes. customise it exactly to what, like we said before, what you, how you drive it, how you're going to drive it, yep. um, based on the data that we pull out of it when we, when we dyno run it. So I'll, I'll read this first before we pull any data out, yep. um, and then we can get that away to get, to get written, yep. and yeah, we can move forward from there. 
So, mate, is this the uh, setting up the dyno? We're just setting it all up and yes. um, just get all our information here to start with. Yeah. And it just helps us identify the car and then just lets us know what that car was when it um, when we dyno it. So, like, like with tie sizes and all that sort of stuff, snorkels, exhaust, etc. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, so mate, you get all the information that you need now. It's all in the box, mate. All yeah. in the box. So no we'll go and um, yeah, we'll extract that out of here now. I'll send it off to Mark. Mark will work his magic on it, yeah. and then in the meantime, um, I'll send him the log files and stuff like that once we get those. And yeah, happy days. So yeah. we'll make that happen. So Craig, give us a rundown mate, what, what do those results mean? <laughs> mate, it's a four cylinder Prado basically. Um, so it means it needs a tune mate. <laughs> pretty much. It's a little bit erratic to start with, but um, yeah, just that trying to keep it in gear and with some noticeable surges in it as well. So I don't know whether you notice that on the road. Um, but yeah, we'll try and sort all that out from a tune point of view. Yeah. Um, Boost numbers and air, we're looking at boost and air, they're not, uh, sorry, air fuel ratio, they're not too bad. Yeah. So it'll sweeten all that up a little bit and that'll um, give us some, some nice changes up in the, um, uh, in the power and torque. Yep, yep. So what I'll have a look at, you may have basically 90, 99 and a half horsepower and a torque number. Oh, it's probably somewhere around the high three, somewhere, say, 350 to 400 newton metres of torque, but, um, yeah, we'll improve that as well and, and see how it rolls. <laughs> That's a go. We may, it's running that, just to give you an idea, it's running at 18. Craig's just, uh, just working his magic now uh, onto the phone to the programmer. We, uh, Don't tell anyone. I'm just going in to get my beer out of the back of the fridge. My creek's uh, a bit busy with something else at the moment. So I'm just going in here. Look at this thing. Coming for one of these, I think. So what have we got going on now, Craig? Well, we're all plugged in, mate. The file's yep. written and just writing it back to the car now. So it's got a... So he's talking to the computer in the... Yep, in the so, so this box here, keys on, it's talking to the computer. Yep. Um, and basically uploading the, 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 the new program, the new file that we've written into the car. Oh, wow, well, so, yeah, okay. Um, it's all happening, mate. It's all going on. So wow. it's just all quiet achievement at the moment. So we've got like a, well, it's, yeah, a five minute write ahead of us now. So yeah, um, okay. just let it do its thing and... We better done. have a beer, mate, while we're, while we're waiting on it, mate. <laughs> I'm what do you reckon? Keen, mate, I'm <laughs> yeah, it's been a big day, so we'll get that done. Good to uh, look after you, mate. <laughs> hey, mate. All right. Well, that's all done, Mick. We're um, tunes all in there. I think we're good to, to yeah. do a run on it, eh? So you've um, overridden the computer, mate. Make it happen. So, yeah, we've told it that we want it to be better. So, um, no worries. Yeah, exciting time. So, we'll get. Um, so, what's the next step, mate? Um, probably clear these tins off this. Um, Fans, yeah. and we'll, we'll play everywhere, and uh, 
Yeah, we'll do a dyno run and happy days. We'll see what numbers we'll come the, up with. Uh, see what the results are, Amy. Sounds like a plan, mate. So um, Craig's just gone to, um, he's a bit busy at the moment. So the files are written apparently to the ECU, uh, to the computer on the Prado. So um, I'm not sure what the next step is, but I think it's probably gonna go on the dyno again and uh, we're gonna see some results on the big screen up there. So let's see what, let's see what happens. Solid 20% increase, Nick. Like it, it's, um, I'd like to say that number could be a little bit higher. Yep. But a difficult vehicle to run on the dyno to start with. So, yep. um, just from the way the transmission operates, I was really, um, really conservative on the throttle input, in so it wouldn't kick down and, and you know, and, and, oh, and okay. flare up. So, yep. um, but yeah, on, on saying that, we've still got the, you know, we started I think at 99 horsepower or, or thereabouts, and now we're up to 122. So that's 20% easily. Yeah, yeah. Um, torque increase is going to be cool, and you're going to notice a massive difference with that on the road. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty excited to see how it actually drives now. Yeah. Um, so it's essentially we're using the fuel better, got a better increase in in, in boost out of that, um, which translates to you know more power, more power, more torque on the road. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result of that, even though again it was a pretty conservative run. Yeah. From as far as the dyno is concerned. And um, obviously, they, which results in a, possibly a better uh, fuel economy. Yeah, so you'll get, you know, you, you'll notice a big difference the way it drives. So it's going to accelerate better off the road, and we'll go for a drive very shortly. Sure, yeah. Um, it, it'll feel better in the top end, it'll hold gears better, uh, it'll tow better, it'll overtake better, and, and your fuel will, you know, you'll see an improvement in your fuel. Awesome, so yeah. um, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way it's actually come up there. So, yep. um, yeah, without doing anything really. Crazy. crazy on the dyno. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We don't want to break stuff and, and we just, you know, we want, at the end of the day, we're doing the dyno to measure what the car's doing, not necessarily try and chase a big, massive number and prove that, yeah, you know, yeah. we can do whatever. You know? yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We, we're doing it, using it as a tool, not as a, not to prove a point, I guess. And then, at the end of the day, mate, you, we, I still want to be using this car, you know. Well, exactly. Like we're 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 tuning this for longevity as well as you know getting some better power out of it as well. Yeah, so yeah. we're we're not you know we're not here just to, to you know try and throw a big number into it and so you can drive it away and ends up yeah, breaking. Like yeah, it's yeah. Um, you know this is it's got to be good as far as I'm concerned for another two hundred thousand right. cases. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the result that we've got there. Yeah. And and look as as. <laughs> For a, for a, uh, an unusual and a difficult dyno run, it's probably come up, you know, not too bad. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah okay. which is cool. Yeah. Well, this is it, eh? I'm going for a test drive. Moment of truth, mate. Yeah. We'll, um, make sure it goes and behaves itself, and <laughs> you leave here nice and happy, I think. Yeah, that's it. Well, I've got a bit of a drive back home, so that should uh, see how it goes. Yeah, look, they um, they always respond really nicely, so I think you'll enjoy it. But it's obviously the proofs in the pudding. Well guys, Craig's given me over to the uh, main seat here. So uh, <laughs> in the driver's seat. The driver's seat. So uh, it feels good from the passenger side. I'll check it out what it feels like on the well, driver's side. Give it a side. go. I'm happy with it. It's nice and smooth and um, everything's you know doing what it should and, but ultimately yep. <laughs> you know what it was like beforehand. So um, yeah right. yeah see well, we I'll go. give this one a go eh? Yeah Let's I'll tell it. you guys in a minute how it works. <laughs> Craig 
Mate, it's been a bit of an afternoon, isn't it? Well, I'm a bit excited for you, mate. So, yeah. um, looking a bit dark outside too. So yes, it's, it's you're sort of... You're probably keen to finish up and get mm, home. Night time's <laughs> come upon us, but no, that's all cool. Yeah. Um, look, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the result that we've got out, out of it. And, 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 you know, you're going to drive it now and I think you'll be you'll be impressed with it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we've already gone for test drive. Yeah. I got to drive as well. And like and I said, um, you're on the test drive, once you put the trailer on and, and um, start, you know, using it under load and in, in your sort of normal usage, you'll find a big difference in the yeah, way it drives yeah. and so forth. So. And look, end of the day, mate, I wanted I wanted to tune, I wanted the EGR kind of sort it out a little bit, seeing I've done the clean, and I didn't want to break the motor. So I think we've... Ticked all those boxes, I, I reckon, so, yeah, so yeah, yeah. EGR correction's done. Um, yeah. Longevity is still intact, like yeah, that's not yeah. going to be a, a drama for this, so... Yeah. The tune that we've got in there is nice and safe. It's, um, you know, as far as reliability and that sort of stuff mm. goes, it's cleaned up a lot of things um, from an engine point of view for fuel delivery and stuff like that. Um, and then you get the results of that when you're driving. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. So we've pulled 20, like, a comfortable 20% out of it. And that, that's on the dyno. Like I said, these things are a little bit difficult to dyno just because of the way the transmissions and the torque management work. So, yeah. um, we, we think we went from 99 to 122 yeah. horsepower uh, yeah. if we're talking old school. Um, newton metres of torque, we've gained, I think it was around 70 odd newton metres of torque, yep. which again is, is probably a little bit conserved off the, do off the dyno because yep. of how I was sort of driving on the dyno, but yep. um, on the road that's going to translate to something that's a lot more drivable and a lot more comfortable for you yep. on the road, and again, it's going to be safe. Yep. So, you know, you keep your servicing up for it, plan your maps then. So. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that one today, yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, yep. you, you'll find that it, it's, it's got a lot of life. Yeah, left in it yeah. and, and you'll be much more comfortable oh, yeah, driving. Sure, yeah, yeah. The iDrive um, will still work, so you'll still be able to use that and, yeah. and, and utilise that because it's there. Yeah. Um, and it'll just enhance that tune yeah. you know, a bit more as you go. So, yeah, yeah I'm quite yeah. happy with the results. No, I think it's been great, mate. I really appreciate it. No, and um, as I said, I came to you, um, not reluctant, but like a bit, oh, you know, I've heard stories where they can break cars and... So you've been great, mate, you, you know. Um, well, yeah, it's, you've I, looked, think it's I think you've looked after me and yeah. uh, taken that part of, you know, my, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, the wariness or, I don't know, of, of what may happen now. Well, well tuning at the end of the day, tuning's a science and, and yeah. there's understanding the science behind it and, and, and the, the, the data that you need behind it to get a result, yeah. I think is crucial in making sure that you get the best result and, and we don't cause any problems with the car. And that's what we aim to achieve. Yeah. We're not here to, you know, we can go chasing a big number, like I said, but there's no future in that for anybody. Mm. So um, I, I think you're going to be happy with what's there and yeah. yeah, that's what we want to achieve, so. And the other thing too, the, well, my car's done 206,000 uh, kilometres, so that, would that be different tuning that to something that came in to see you at 100,000 or 40,000 or something like that? Just depends, like, it, and, and you know, we, we take into consideration, so you've cleaned your manifold out, which yeah. is great, so, so a lot of cars, that that affects the air fuel ratios and everything when, we, when we're doing that initial run, so yeah. the results of, of what that initial run is dictates how we, how the end result and what yeah. the tune is, so... Um, and, and we can see on the dyno, like we can we can pick up a block manifold off the yeah, dyno, whether okay. it's um, just yeah. just based on what the numbers are doing. So, yeah, yeah. you know, you've done the right things. You look after it, it's serviced well. You've cleaned the manifold, and and you know what we're doing now is going to improve that and, and, yeah. and help you. And I haven't gone too crazy on the tube. No, so yeah. we don't want to crack pistons. We don't want to blow it up. You know, no. yeah, yeah, holes yeah. inside of engines aren't yeah. <laughs> aren't cool for anybody. So. Um, so I think we've covered, yeah, we've ticked all those boxes, haven't we? Yeah, look, and if you've got any questions, just give us a call. Just, yeah, you know, yeah. just feel free, drop us an email, or whatever, yeah. you know, and that's for anybody watching too. Yeah, I don't mind, okay. so yeah, right. good going. Well, Craig, you've been awesome. Um, I've had heaps of fun just working with you. I've never met you before until today, <laughs> and um, we've had a ball, haven't we, really? Yeah, likewise, yeah, it's, it's always you know, a pleasure. And, and, um, and you know, I just want to say thank you for letting me, um, you know, be in on what you're doing and obviously filming and what's going on. It's been great, Lee. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks, mate. That's a good sign, mate. She started, eh? <laughs> so files are written, are they? Files in there. I'm going to go to the done in boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. putting that on there, mate. Don't okay. worry. Files in there. I'm going to go to the done.
Dann eben dort. <lacht>